Hello. Hello, my dears. Oh, it's so nice to see all your names. Hi. Hey, guys. Hello, lovelies. Just going to see if I can learn to use technology. Hi, guys. Well. <laughs> Hello. Hey, I'm always so proud with two not millennials use Instagram correctly. It feels like a big moment. Big moment. <laughs> And I love that you have flowers. That is the perfect. I actually always have flowers. Um, it's been my, it's been my sort of promise to myself during the pa pandemic that I always have flowers. Yeah, yeah, that's gorgeous. And um, and daylight savings time has conspired to make it impossible for us to set a time that makes any sense to the world right now. So I'm so grateful that we can both do this. Yeah. Hello, my dear. Um, if anyone uh, needs a second to go get a candle, we were going to light a candle in a little bit. So just grab, I have too many and somewhat flammable situation, which I'm keeping away from my hair. So feel free to grab a candle and a lighter. Oh, you've got yours. That's gorgeous. What icon is that? It's the uh, faithful women at the tomb, the myrrh bearing women. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. <laughs> that is so gorgeous. Mm. Well, my loves, um, we're so glad that you're all here. Um, welcome everyone to our All Souls Vigil. So technically, of course, All Souls Day starts tomorrow, um, but our remembrance of it starts at night the night before. Uh, in the Christian tradition and in the Jewish tradition too, um, beautiful things uh, happen the second that darkness falls, just like Christmas Eve. The holiest days start in the darkest hours before the dawn. And in that liminality between night and day, we gather now at dusk in the dark to do the hard work. We know that the most honest things you can say, you say at night. So I'm here with a friend that I love very much, the Reverend Nadia Bowles Weber. I met Reverend Nadia when I was um, interviewing her about her New York Times bestselling books, uh, Shameless Pastrix, Accidental Saints. And uh, I think we were about 30 seconds in when one of us said, um, wait, are we friends? Because <laughs> uh, I was very inconveniently dying of cancer at the time. And um, I knew immediately that she wanted to be close to someone like me, um, someone who uh, couldn't get it together, um, someone who um, was tired and scared. Nadia is a Lutheran pastor. And because this is a Christian uh, church service, we needed a priest. And I am grateful that she is one of mine. So Nadia, thank you so much for doing this with me today. I don't think I'd ever spoken to someone for five minutes on the phone and said out loud, I think we're going to be friends forever. <laughs> so I, um, I remember one of the first things about you was that, uh, that the first sermon, even before you knew you were a pastor, was that you preached at a funeral. And I thought, that's my kind of, if that's my kind of person. Comedy club. <laughs> Comedy club. Absolutely. <laughs> We are, um, we're here because we can't be together and because we are stuck in the place between. We miss what is gone and it is unbearable. Uh, but still, groceries need to be bought and the mortgage needs to be paid and people keep asking us uh, to Zoom meetings. And so we put this service together because we are stripped of the rituals and traditions that make a space for us to grieve together. Um, if this kind of service is new to you, this kind of Instagram version is new to us, um, this will take a little more than half an hour. 
and most of it will be sitting in the muck of grief. We will be reading the names that you all sent in. Um, so my lovely team at the Everything Happens Project work really hard to capture all of these treasured names. Um, it was almost a thousand names and we are so honored to hold them. We know that new names have been pouring in. And so we have, if we've missed yours, please know how sorry we are and that you are so welcome to add those names in the comment section here. Um, regardless of whether you sent in the name before, please know that this is a place where we would love to hold them in prayer. And please know that all the names that we see here and we've seen um, in all of these posts that uh, my team is committed to praying for them and praying for them in the weeks to come. So know that you are loved and remembered. And so with pronunciation. Oh yeah, sorry, yes. I, we will, it, there will be a need for grace for two people doing their best. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, uh, Nadia, do you mind if I do like a brief historical nerdy moment where I talk about the, okay, the past. Um, so this is a service uh, for the living and the dead. And that is as mysterious as it sounds. We must bless this space between because sometimes this is where we live. Um, as I said uh, earlier this week, uh, we talked about how this is an ancient tradition. So this is a really good time to say that if you are not a person of faith or if you are a person with another faith, please know you are so welcome here. We are really honored to remember your loved one. And so you don't have to believe a single thing to be here with us. And we are so glad that you are. This service tonight is a really ancient one with ancient promises calling on traditions that the church has observed for over 2000 years. Even Paul the apostle called for these prayers for the dead, prayers for us and for them who ache that they are gone. The language in this service is going to be very specifically Christian. It is drawn from the Book of Common Prayer and it is promising three things. I'm saying that because I love it when God promises those things because we are not promised our best lives now. We are not promised good, better, best. We are promised this. One, that we are loved. Two, that we are held. And three, that this love never ends. We pray for those who have died, who are received into God's care. We are loved. We pray for us now that we are sustained in our brokenness. We are held. And we believe that death is not the end, that someday we will throw our arms around each other, that we will live together forever because death has been conquered. It's the ending of the story that this love never ends. And if I didn't believe that, I wouldn't be a Christian. I would find a less time consuming hobby. So grab a candle if you like. Feel free to close your eyes or put anyone on your heart in this section here. I'm so grateful to see all of these names. This is about lifting up those that we love to God. All right, my loves. Nadia, is there anything you want to add before we dig in? Um, among the things we aren't promised is um, we're not promised another day, as you know. <laughs> and... Um, I love the language of the church that says that um, even as we make our way to the grave, still our song is hallelujah. So, right? right? Grace, peace, and mercy are yours from the triune God. Amen. Dear friends in Christ, today we remember all those we have known and loved who have died. We hold them in our hearts and thank God for the gifts that God has given us through them. We pray that together in remembering and in giving thanks for his saints, we may find consolation and hope as a parent cares for their children. So the Lord cares for those who fear him. For God himself knows our frame. God remembers that we are but dust. Our days are like the grass. We flourish like a flower in the field. When the wind goes over it, it is gone. And its place shall know it no more. 
but the merciful goodness of the Lord endures forever on those who fear him. And his righteousness on their children's children. So if you'd like to light a candle, let's do that now. All right. Tissue, hold on. I came like fully prepared for my feelings. <laughs> Oh God, the generations rise and pass away before you. We rejoice in the company of your saints. We remember all who have lived in faith and all who have peacefully died, and especially those most dear to us who rest in you, whose names we remember now. Abraham, Adolin's mother, Aidan Iram, Adrian, Aileen, AJ, AI, Alan, Albert, Alex, Alexander, Alexis, Alfred, Alfredo, Alice, Alyssa's mother, Allie, Allison, Alma, Alvin, Amanda, Amber, Amelia, Amy, Amy Joy, Anna, Annabelle, Andrew, Andy, Anne, Anne's husband, Aunt Coney, Anthony, Archie, Arthur, Audrey, Aunt Coney, Aunt Emma, Aunt Jean, Aunt Katie's sibling, husband, and parents. Aunt Lila, Aunt Ruby, Aunt Tina, Aunt Valerie, Aunt Yolanda, Aunt Clayda. Baba Jordan, Baby Eslin, Barbara, Bartholomew, Bart, Becca, Becky, Ben, Benjamin, Bernard, Bernie, Bert, Betty, Bibby and Wilkie, Bill, Blair, Blake, Blanca, Bob and Jenny, Bob. Bobby, Bonnie, Bonnie's mother, Brandy, Brenda, Brenda's brother-in-law, Brenda's daughter-in-law's father, Brent, Brian, Bruno, Buddy, Burke, Bert, Buzz, Callista, Carl, Carla, Carlitos, Carlos, Carmen, Carol, Carol and John. Carrie, Cassandra, Catherine, Kathy, Celia and Jill, Carrie Ann, Charlene, Charles, Charlie, Charlotte, Chef Floyd, Chelsea, Chet, Chip, Christoph, Chris, Christian, Christine, Christopher and Anne Marie, Chuck, Cindy, Cindy's dad, mom and gran, Claudette, Clyde, Cole, Colin, Colleen, Colton, Connor, Courtney, Kobe, Craig, Crystal, Dakota, Dale, Dallas, Dalton, Dan, Danine, Danielle, Danny, Danielle's twin sister. Darian, Dave, David, Deanna, Debbie, Deborah, Denise, Dennis, Diana, Diane's daughter and husband, Diego, Dolores and Frank, Dominique, Don, 
Dolores, Donald, Donna, Donna's sister, Dorothy, Doug, Douglas, Dr. Makrol Chandra. Dustin, Duane, Dwight, Ed, Eileen, Elaine, Eleanor, Eldon and Pat, Elena, Elias, Elizabeth, Elizabeth's dad, Ellen, Eloise, Elsa, Elton, Emily, Ina, Eric, Esmond, Esther, Ethan and Hesse, Eva, Evan. Evelyn, Evan, Fernando, Forrest, Father Bob, Francis, Frank, Fred, Fred's mom and dad, Gail, Gary, Jean, George, Geraldine, Geraldine's grandfather, Jerry, Gertrude, Gigi. Jill, Gilberto, Jenny, Glenn, Gordon, Grace, Grady, Grandma Anna Maria and Grandpa Luis, Grandma Ardell, Grandma Betty, Grandma Jane, Greg, Greta, Gwen, H.H. H. Barber, Hal and Betty, Hal, Hannah, Hardy, Harley, Harold, Harry and Leona, Harvey, Hazel and Willie, Heidi. Helen, Henrietta, Hermina, Herschel, Hillary's husband, Hillary's two lost pregnancies. Mm. Honey, Hoyt, Ian, Inez, Irene, Iris, Jack, Jacqueline, Jake, Jalisa, James, Papa, Jamal, Jam. Jan's sister, Jane, Janice, Jeanette, Jay, Jane, Jean, Jean and Walter, Jeanette, Jeannie, Jeff, Jennings, Jerry, Jesus and Carolina, Jill, Jim, Jim and Mickey. Jim, Jimmy, Jinx, Joanne, Joan, Jocelyn, Jody, Joe, Jewel, John, John Lewis and Ruth Bader Ginsburg, John Michael, John. John Prine, Johnny, John, Jordan, Joseph, and Abafini, Claudia and Joseph, Josephine, Josh, Josh, Josie's dad, Judith, Judy, Julia and Harmon, Julia, June, Justin, Casey, Caitlin, Karen, Karina, Carl, Kate's grandfather, Kathleen, Kathy, Kay, Kayla, Kevin, Kellyanne, Kelly Wolf's grandparents, Ken, Kenneth, Carrie, Kevin, Kim, Chris, Christy, Layla, Lala, Lanny, Larry. 
Laura, Loreen, Joseph, Laura, Lee, Layla, Lenise, Lewis, Lilia and Emily, Lillian, Linda, Linda and George's father, Linda's husband and daughter, Lloyd, George, Lois, Loretta, Lorraine, Luca, Lucy, Lula, Luna, Lupita, Lydia, Lila, Lyle, Lynette, Madeline, Madison, Maggie, Marcelino, Marcy, Margaret, Margie, Mariana, Mary, Marilyn, Marie, Marita, Marjean, Mark, Marlene, Marlon and Peggy, Martha, Marty, Marley, Marty, Sally, Dave, Sam, and Salem, Marvel. Mary, Mariana, Mary Jean, Jack, Mary Catherine, Mary's husband, Matthias, Matt, Matthew, Maureen, an unborn son, Maywin, Mima, Mel, Melissa, Melvina, Mercedes, and Charles. Michael, Michelle, Michelle Lee. Sorry, I'm <laughs> sorry. You just, uh, I forgot my friend was on there. Michelle? Can I do the next one? <laughs> yeah, maybe me do the next one. I'll, I'll do yours. <laughs> <Okay>. <clears throat> Mary Charles, Mary Jean Jack, or did that, are these the ones I did? <laughs> Here's yours, Michelle, Michelle's brother-in-law, Mike. I got it. <clears throat> Melissa and Mary Ellis' father. Milka, Miriam, Molly, Mother Melissa, Mr. Walrup, Ms. Ella, Nadine, Nan, Nancy, Natalie, Nathan, Neil Mani's father, Neil, Neville, Nick. Nikki, Nicole, Marilyn, and Leah. Nia, Noah, Norman, Otis, Olive, Oscar in Orlando, Otis, Paige, Pastor Craig, Pat and Peter, Patricia, Patricia Brown's parents and grandparents. Patricia's father and mother and sister, Patrick, Patty, Paul, Paul and Isabel, Paula's mother, Peggy, Penny, Peter, Phil, Pele's husband, Philly, Philip, PJ, Plumeria, Rachel, Ralph and Nicholas, Ralph, Raul, Ray, Raymond, Regina, Reverend Ernest Smith, Reverend Bruce, Reverend Gerald, Reverend Peter, Ricardo, Rich, Richard, 
Richard, RT, Turner, Rita, Rob, Robert and Margaret, Robin, Rochelle, Rodrigo, Roger, Ron, Rose May, Rosemary, Rosetta, Rosie, Ruby, Ruth, Ryan, Sadie, Sam, Sandy, Sandra, Sarah, Sarah's dad, Scott, Seamus, Seth, Shane, Shannon, Sharon, Sheila, Sherry, Shirley, Sam, Sister Anna, Sister Scholastica, Sister Veronica, Sonia's father, Stan, Stella and Al, Steve, Stuart, Sue, Sue Gianto and his two brothers, Susan, Suzanne, Sly, Sybil, Tammy, Taylor, Ed, Tenny, Teresa, Terry, the Reverend Michael, Thelma, Theodore and Holden, Teresa, Teresa's mom, Thomas. Tia Bowley, Tim, Timbo, Timothy, Tina, Tip, TJ, Tom, Tommy, Tony, Tootie, Tosh, Tracy, Tristan, Troy. Ty, Umika, unborn baby, Uncle Alan, Uncle Alberto, Uncle Beto, Uncle Carlos, Uncle Gail, Uncle Gus, Uncle Pedro, Uncle Ray, Uncle Tim, Ursula, Vanessa, Vera, Vic, Victor's dad, Vid, Vincent, Virginia Francis, Virginia, Walter, Warner, Waudeen, Wes, William, William Michael. Winnie, woman in Christine's parish. Yosu, Yvette's dad, Yvonne, Zachary, Zeke, Celine. And for everyone, you see all of these names pouring in. For everyone in the comment section, Lord, you know their names. You have loved them from the first moment they opened their eyes until the last moment where they closed them. Lord, in your mercy, hold them. Hear the words of the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord Almighty will prepare a feast of rich foods for all people, a banquet of aged wine, the best of meats and the finest of wines. On this mountain, he will destroy the shroud that enfolds all peoples, the sheet that covers all nations. He will swallow up death forever. The sovereign Lord will wipe away the tears from all faces. Um, amen. amen. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. God has come to his people and set them free. God has raised up for us a mighty savior. Born of the house of his servant David. In the tender compassion of God. The dawn from on high shall break upon us. To shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. 
we thank you for those whom we have named before you. And now we commit those whom we love to your eternal care and communion, confident that as you loved them in this world, you shall continue to love them in the world to come. Be with all who mourn their passing, comfort them in their sorrow, remember us all in life and death, and bring us at last into your eternal home. We ask this through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, keep your hearts and minds safe in Christ Jesus. Amen. If you'd like to keep your candle burning and just take a minute after this, take your time. No one gives that to us. Just take your time. Let life take up all the space that it demands. Otherwise, blow it out now and know that you're releasing them into God's love and care. Oh, my dog just started barking. <laughs> then there's life. A puppy. <laughs> Thank you so much for being with us, my dears. We know there is nothing bearable about this, but please know that you are loved that you are held, and that this love never ends. Mm -hmm. Nadia, thank you for being our priest and pastor. I don't want to see another clerical caller except yours showing up on my worst days. <laughs> thank you. Um, I love you. Thanks. Thank you. thank you all. Thanks for being here, you guys. Sending everyone. Bye, loves. <laughs>